Welcome back, Internet people. My name is Ryan, and hey. today we are playing Oblivion. Hi, how's it going? I am in Coral to collect gauntlets that are very heavy and no one else can lift them. Well met. Well then. Hello. Hello. Welcome, Knight Commander. I have a question about the gauntlets of the Crusader. The gauntlets, eh? They're a Relder's responsibilities. Okay. I will speak Take to care. him. Are you a Relder? What brings you here, my son? The gauntlets of the Crusader. Ah, yes. The gauntlets have been here for ages. I know only the basic story behind them. They're more of a novelty these days. My only real involvement with them these days is keeping the youngsters from hurting themselves trying to pick the gauntlets up. What is your interest in them, if I may ask? I've come to retrieve them. Oh, I'm afraid that's quite impossible. They don't move. Not even a bit. As if they're the heaviest things in the world. Don't you know the story behind them? Okay. Yes, well, I don't know the whole thing. A great many years ago, a knight of the old order did something terrible, and the gauntlets just fell off. They dropped to the floor right where he stood, and no one could lift them. That curse still lingers on today, in fact. Who is Kellen? Oh, why? He's a descendant of that very knight from so long ago. The curse has affected his family all these years. He came here from Hammerfell seeking a cure, but... Ah, uh, well, there's really nothing that can be done for him, I think. He may know more of the story than I. Perhaps you should speak with him, if he's feeling well enough. Ask Kellen about the curse. Oh, okay. Who the hell is Kellen? Hi there! Hello. What is it? Is there a cure? Has Arelda found a cure? I know there's something he's not telling me. Um... I'm just here to poke around about your curse. Ah. So you've heard it, have you? Terrible curse. Been in the family almost longer than anyone can remember. When I was younger, I could live with it. Wasn't so bad. But until it had gotten worse over time, I'd come here, to the place it all happened, in the hopes that something could be done. A elder has let me stay, mostly out of pity, I think. But there's something else. I swear he knows more than he tells. Okay. And what do you know about the gauntlets? You've seen them, I assume. Do you know that I thought perhaps I could lift them? That somehow this curse would be lifted if I could pick them up? I tried for hours. Until my whole body ached. And I could barely move. I'm not ashamed to admit that. I've been at the end of my rope for far too long to be ashamed of anything. Okay. You are very, very boring. If you don't tell me something very interesting very soon. I've seen plenty of pity in people's eyes over the years. I grew up recognizing it. But with Arelda, there's something else there. And when he speaks to me, there are times I'd swear he sounds... Apologetic. Guilty, even. What reason does he have to hold back information? I know I'm a doomed man one way or the other. Speak to him if you can. Convince him to tell me what he knows. Bye. Okay. Or Elder, you're a terrible person and a liar. I... I cannot face him. I know what might be done for him, but 
I haven't the will to do it. I wish I could help him, truly I do, but I cannot muster the strength to damn myself on his behalf. What are you talking about? The curse. I know what would lift it, but I cannot do it. The only way to free Kellen of his curse is to take it on myself. I fail Kellen every time I speak to him, and I fail Stendar every time I pray to him and do not ask for the power to lift the curse. Do you know one who would do such a thing? One who would pray at this chapel's altar? Pray to Stendar for the power to lift this curse? Be seeing you. So I've heard. I can do that. What's the news from the other parts of Tamriel? Nothing I... I'd like to talk about. Interesting. Bye. Anytime, friend. I'm right here. You... How did you... I feel good. I feel... Good. I don't feel like death. I feel like... Running! <laughs> so I've heard. Safe travels. Farewell. Well then, I am now in the possession of a set of... Very nighty armor. I am very nighty today. This is not a full set of armor, though, and I spoke to every single one of those guys. Well met, Sir, Sir Knight. Thank RK you were back. I have terrible news. Sir Roderick. I think he's dead. But I don't know who that is. A holy knight, like you, questing for the relics at the prophet's call. I was his squire. I believed he was chosen by the gods to reclaim the relics. At first things were going well. He prayed at all the shrines and received a vision, a disturbing vision. The shade of Sir Beric spoke to me was all he said. We must put him to rest. We traveled back and forth across Colovia. He was always asking about an old noble family, the Vlindrils. Finally, he found what he was looking for. We went to Underpaul Cave, and there he fell. Okay, uh, what was he looking for? He said that Sir Beric's tomb was in Underpaul Cave, which is no cave, but some kind of buried keep. He had learned that Sir Beric had once been a questing knight, like us. He had found the greaves and sword of the Crusader, but then turned to evil. Sir Roderick hoped to find the relics within Sir Beric's tomb, and he did. But we also found a terrible guardian, the wraith of Lord Vlindril, Sir Beric. Do you know where they are? Yes, my lord. And I brought you, Sir Roderick shouted for me to take them, the Greaves, the Holy Relic, they're yours. What happened to the sword? The Wraith. It used it against Sir Roderick. I don't know how that evil thing could use the Holy Weapon, but it did. Okay. So... I'm sorry. I've already failed Sir Roderick once. I don't want to fail him again. I remember he said something about the sword before we... He was worried that the sword may have been turned to evil, that it may have to be reconsecrated on the altar of its creator, the Divine Arche. That's all I remember. I hope it may help you. I will avenge Sir Roderick, even though I don't know who he is. Sir, might I ask a boon? I Let don't... me come with you. I would become a Knight of the Nine and dedicate my life to the service of the gods. Ah, uh, 
Yeah, sure. Thank you. I mean, thank you, Sir Knight. Give me a moment to arm myself, and I will accompany you to Underpaul Cave to destroy the foul wraith. My goodness. Oh, look at this. People have been doing stuff in here. There are beds. That's fantastic. Alrighty then. So now I guess we got a black guy that will follow us to a cave and we will murder a wraith. Well, this looks like a cave. A very dark cave. That is full of terrible looking things. I guess they're empty coffins, so that's not too bad. This most definitely is an underground keep. And it appears that I have found a means to inhabit those coffins. Oh my god, there's so many zombies. Uh, I sure wish that black guy was here right now. I have no idea what's going on at all. Oh dear. What are you big ugly thing in the background there? Oh no. Oh no. sword go and now to cheat now they get this sword done fixed up right oh god not these guys again they're fleeing Well then, now I've got every object that will apparently let me defeat Umaril or whatever it is. Not Bellina White Strike, we don't want to defeat. I don't understand. I do not understand your religion. Not in the slightest. Thanks for watching.